This video idea came from a Discord message. Big shout out to Redix. So today I will be looking at the mastery title of all 70 brawlers and I will be discussing with you the origin. Let's begin. So for Shelly's no time to explain title, you may have noticed that those four words aren't hinted anywhere near her brawler in the actual game, but that's because the phrase actually originates from a classic Brawl Stars ad where it shows Colt's introduction to the Brawl Stars world and when he's confused by what's going on, Shelly says, No time to explain! Nida's The Untamed title kind of just comes from her character. You'll notice that the word untamed can very easily apply to Nida because her in-game behavior is very feral. Colt's title, The Pretty, is a lot more basic. I mean, look at this man. He also does talk about it a lot. I'm too pretty! Bull's Bulldozer title is just... Fitting. I mean, this word is completely branded by him. It's in his name, it's in his super, and it's even in his voice lines. So this title's pretty easy to understand. Brock's boom title pretty much just comes from his character. I mean, he shoots rockets and they go boom, and he's holding a boom box, and I'm pretty sure he says boom quite a few times. So I mean, this title does make a lot of sense. Primo's El Luchador title simply translates to the fighter, and I mean, El Primo is simply just a Spanish-speaking wrestler or fighter, so his title isn't really that far-fetched. Barley's title works out just fine because, as you know, he's a bartender, which of course means that he serves people. Not to mention, when he does defeat other brawlers in-game, he will say, You've been served! Mariachi music is a genre of Mexican music that looks like this. So, when you consider Poco and his El Mariachi title, it just about makes sense. Rosa is literally a botanist. Both of her gadgets and one of her star powers all play a role with bushes, so touching grass is probably Rosa's favorite thing to do. Before we continue, I wanted to say, the grind for player titles takes a lot of matches, but I'm about to show you how to make it so much more beneficial with Z-League, the sponsor for today's video. Z-League is a free-to-play app where you can win cash and real-life prizes just by playing Brawl Stars, as well as many other games. Z-League's primary earning method comes from the Play Now option, where you can instantly join a tournament. Tournament. Once you link your Brawl Stars account, all you do is hit start now, select Brawl Stars and a game mode, then you can either play for free or wager some Z coins and then you're set. Once the tournament begins, you literally just have to win matches and that will get you more Z coins and then you can use them in the shop and get some pretty cool things like real life equipment, gift cards, and a lot more. Aside from that, Z League also has a video feed where you can share your best clips as well as awesome ways to customize your profile. And finally, Z League offers an amazing looking for a group feature where it's kind of like Tinder but for gamers, and it's really fun to scroll through because I feel like you actually get a chance to know your new potential teammates. There's no reason not to try this app. Use my link in the pinned comment below to download the Z-League app and you can get 500 Z-Coins just by signing up. Thanks Z-League for this opportunity, it really helps me produce more content. Jessie's The Builder title comes from the fact that she's a little tech-savvy engineer with passion in constructing weapons. Even from her voice lines, you can tell that she built Scrappy on her own. Constructing! Dynamite's Birdie 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 title simply comes from the fact that there's a canary hidden in pretty much all of the skins. Not to mention, he does have that voice line that goes, yeah, Birdie Birdie Birdie! Did you ever see a tick just use his super and before it makes contact, he's just running around without a head? That's goofy, right? Well yeah, that's pretty much what I picture when I think of his title. SYS64738 is just a simple computer restarting routine, but this reminded me of the much more important component of history, 8-Bit's Project Laser. This was a little easter egg from the past where you could basically go into 8-Bit's memory, but sadly I couldn't actually find 8-Bit's complete title anywhere. The meaning behind Rico's title at the Lover seems to come from a few things, but my favorite one is the Brawl and Times commercial that Rico starred in. This commercial featured Rico's ultimate risk of passion for a vending machine, but, but don't worry, then it became Piper. Daryl is literally a pirate, and I mean pirates say R, so I guess that's why pirate has a lot of R's in it. Penny is also a pirate, and I mean pirates are considered salty, not to mention when they're out at sea, they're in the salt water. Oh, and she also carries a barrel of salt around with her. The Geol just is about as fitting as a mastery title gets. Carl's entire life revolves around geology, and you'll even see it in his voice lines where most of them are just rock puns that are really hard to put up with. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Jackie's that 
title seems to come from the fact that she's usually up to no good. You'll see it in both her voice lines and her pin animations, which leads us to believe that behind the drill she might just be saying something a little funny. There seems to be a lot of lore around the brawler Gus who's just lost. This comes to be a perfect description behind his player title. The Bo's One With Nature title is pretty obvious. I mean, he literally tells you, I am one with nature. Ems' hashtag haters title comes directly from one of her voice lines. They say she's too wrapped up in herself. <laughs> Hashtag haters. Stu's Wicked title comes from his more wicked side from when he joined the Bad Randoms. His nickname in the band is Wicked Stu, and I mean, it's pretty fitting for his rock star style, right? We all know that Piper's Gunbrella is best used at the longest range, but more importantly, she is the classic sniper of Brawl Stars, so she is very suited to be known as the sniper. Your mom. That's a funny title, right? Well, it's been proven that she is the mother of Jesse, and I mean, a lot of her functions have the word mama in it, so I mean, getting this player title was just perfect for her. Frank is also known as the tank. He is tankier than a literal tank whose name was Hank, but I mean, the literal tank whose name was Hank did get nerfed, so yeah, he has a lot of health, and he's actually the highest HP brawler in the game, so the title is just fitting. BB is a cool cat. Just ask her. I'm a cool cat. B enjoys bees. B outfits, B drones, B puns, B everythings. So it starts to make a lot more sense when you consider the fact that once you master her, you become the queen B. Nanny is described as one who loves her friends and looks over them with a watchful eye. So her title makes a lot of sense because it sounds just like something a nanny would do. Edgar's CEO of Brawl Stars title is so iconic and it just comes from one of his voice lines. CEO of Brawl Stars? Griff is greedy. Whether it's punishing his employees or just ripping off his customers, it's perfect for Griff to be known as the greedy because he absolutely loves money, 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 money. Rom's title is something else. His title is with one left hand. He says, with one left hand, but he does everything with his right hand. Such a mysterious individual. Bonnie is reckless. She's just a child that shoots herself out of a cannon. And I mean, she already knocked out a tooth. No matter what, she causes mayhem and literally throws grenades. So being the reckless is extremely fitting for her. Hank is a military fish who has a pretty cool looking tank. And if you take a look at his Lil Tenant title, you'll notice that it's a combination of the Lieutenant military rank and the fact that he's a little shrimp. Get it? Because he's small? Like Lil Lieutenant? I'll let Mortis tell you. I am a creature of the night! What's in the cards? Terra's title asked. Basically, she throws tarot cards, which are like knowledge of the future seeking cards. So, for a psychic like her, it's only normal for a question like that to be present. Jean's Talk to the Hand title matches the name of his mythic gear. And basically, if you have something you want to say to him, just say to the giant hand that's coming to your face that's about to slap you. Max looks a lot like the Lightning McQueen of Brawl Stars. Oh, but she's on a lot of energy drinks. So, when Lightning McQueen says, I am speed. Max and all her energy drinks scream it in all caps. Mr. P is the boss. I mean, he has Gale and Lou working for him, and literally both of their default skins are just branded by Mr. P. He's a very grumpy boss with a very drippy bow tie. You know it, Sprout loves plants. I mean, it's super is literally building a plant wall. Sprout will tell you, I like trees. So it only makes sense to be a tree hugger. Byron has some very unique character. I mean, he's literally a snake oil salesman. But don't tell him I said that. Either way, if he makes a sale, I'm sure he would yell, SENSATIONAL! So it's only fitting that his title is THE SENSATIONAL. Those of you who are new to the game or just don't know, Squeak came about completely on accident. He's known to be Rups' accidental creation. So it only makes sense that, of course, his mastery title is... Is an accident. Which looks hilarious on starting screens. Gray is silent. Gray is shady. Gray even wears a trench coat in some cases. But my friends, I've already said it. He is known as the Shady. Willow has a bit of an evil characteristic. Once she fills her super, she throws a tadpole over your head and controls your mind. With that being said, it only makes sense that her mastery title is, is in your head. Doug's mastery title says wiener because he has a hot dog stand where he's a hot dog or a wiener vendor. What did you think I was gonna say? I don't think there's anyone that's more one of a kind than Spike. Spike has so many traits that no other brawlers have and plays such an interesting 
interesting role in the game. So I think it's just perfect that he gets to have the one-of-a-kind title. Crow gets his caw caw title because, I mean, real crows say it. And of course, because the brawler crow says it in the commercial. Caw. And in the game. <laughs> Leon is sneaky. Do I even need to say it? He has gadgets that trick you, a super that will hide from you, and all sorts of things that will just sneak around you. I mean, he used to be known as the sneaky assassin. Now, he's just the sneaky. Almost everything about Sandy is about sleep. His gadgets, his mythic gear, even some of his skins. So it's only fitting that he is known as the sleepy. Amber might be an arsonist in the disguise of an entertainer, because you'll see that everything about her is about starting fires, burning bushes, catching people on fire. Let's just say that she's too hot to handle and Firestarter is just perfect for her. Meg's Tech Support 2.0 kind of just comes from one of her voice lines. Tech Support 2.0! Chester is a jack of all trades but a master of none. This Joker has way too many tricks up his sleeve, and he's always going to surprise you with his different gadgets, supers, moves, anything, because it's always something new. I mean, look at his face. He's definitely up to something. Gail was introduced as a janitor in Mr. Peace Hotel, even though it says it nowhere in his description. Either way, he's always working on something with his snowblower thing, so I guess that's where he gets the janitor from. Serge's title is bro. I mean, I guess he's just some superhero fraternity dude. Take it away, Serge. Take it easy, bro. Colette is a cashier and she works for the Greedy. And given that info, I'm pretty sure there's some Griff imposed tax on the merchandise. But since Colette is appointed at the job, she is known as the collector. Oh, uh, she also collects like all the brawlers in her scrapbook. It, it's super freaky. I guess now we're on Lou, and all I can say is Uncle Lou is here for you. I don't think there's anything else behind it. Back about two and a half years ago, we were all introduced to Colonel Ruffs. But I mean, his name was so big that Supercell decided to nerf it. Literally, they nerfed his name. But luckily, fast forward a few more months into the future, and Colonel was brought back in the form of his player title. When you add the star title to Bell, you get something amazing. Bell Star was a real American outlaw in the Wild West. And as you know, especially in its early days, Brawl Stars was a Wild West themed game. So honestly, introducing Bell and giving her a star title was just amazing. Buzz's Born Bad title is super similar to Stu's. Buzz's nickname in the Bad Randoms band is Born Bad Buzz. And believe me, he is Born Bad. I mean, look at him. Oh, wait, sorry. Now look at him. Ash is trash tier. I mean, look at him. He's a dude in a trash can. I don't really know if there's more I can say about that. Lola is such a drama queen. She's a very egotistical, kind of mean Brawlywood star. And I mean, that's pretty much her whole description. If you have mastered Fang, you have mastered the art of launching one's sneaker towards the enemy, which is somehow really painful, I guess. But Fang is a master at fighting without his hands, so he is just the sneaker artist. Eve is also a mother, just like Pam, but unfortunately for her, she got the less funny mom title. I mean, have you ever seen a mother in one of your games before? Janet's title, The Rocket, pretty much just comes from the fact that she's able to fly around the map like a rocket. I mean, she even calls herself Rocket Girl. Rocket Girl! Otis had such an aesthetically pleasing release to the game. He's like a deep sea splatter painter and his art is amazing so it only makes sense that he gets to be called the artist. Sam is a big scary punchy dude who is sure to leave a mark if he punches you in your face. Because I mean he is huge and it, it can happen right? Buster is walking around with a literal movie projector and when he gets excited he screams Blockbuster! Do I even have to mention that he has a star power named Blockbuster? I think that's enough background. So I guess Mandy's a little tough, but since she's like the queen of like sugar and candy and cookie land, she's not just tough, she's a tough cookie. Remember the mystery at the hub season? RT has his eyes on everyone, all the time. So like, why not just call him the Watcher? Maisie is a master of disaster. After you see Fang and Buster making a mess, she's always there ready to clean it up. Cordelius's toxic title actually actually is not referring to the players that main him. Instead, it means that, you know, the mushrooms he's dealing with, they're pretty toxic and dangerous. Anyways, this video was so fun to make. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you watched the whole way to the end, thank you very much. It means a lot to me. With that being said, that's all I have for today, so peace out, everyone.